Ladies, get trained and get armed. Domestic violence never ever ends. This man here, uh, age 38, shot and killed his girlfriend, Kiara Lane, age 25, January 6, 2023, in Coverton, Kentucky. They had two kids. Damn. This is Kira Lane. She leaves behind two children who are 11 months old and two years old. Her mother Kelly says the kids were upstairs in the house with Lane's sister when the shooting happened. When we arrived on scene, EMS were at the house along with police. Police say they found Lane with numerous gunshot wounds. She later died at the scene and a neighbor tells us he heard at least three gunshots. Detectives have been gathering evidence and interviewing family all evening but have not said if they have any suspects in mind stop domestic violence why it's not right but we don't have very much information about what happened but we do know that one person has died in this shooting 25 year old Kira Lane from Covington her family was out here on the sidewalk for most of the afternoon and evening in what has been a very emotional scene here Kira's family tells me she leaves behind two children an 11 month old and a two year old her family says she was just an all-around good person and an especially caring mother and sister. <laughs> Neighbors said they heard multiple gunshots just after 3 p.m. Covington police say she died on the scene after being shot multiple times. Shooting investigation in Covington, where Covington police say sadly a 25-year-old woman was killed. I was just watching TV and we heard gunshots. And so not long after that, my ring went off and there was like 10 cop cars flying past. Here's the video where you can see Covington police rush to the scene of a reported shooting in Latonia this afternoon. When they arrived, police say they found 25-year-old Kiara Lane dead from numerous gunshot wounds. The father of the girl that was shot was saying that he shot his daughter. A suspect hasn't been identified at this time by Covington police, but neighbors say they heard the shooter is known to Lane. All the uh, friends and relatives here are saying it doesn't sound like his type of character. Yeah, like he would that do he's that. He's a great there's, guy. He would never no know. They're he would like do in this. shock. They're saying it was a person that I know the allegations against him. I find that hard to believe. You know, he was a very good guy. He'd give you the shirt off his back, give you anything in this world. I mean, that's like my brother, and I'm very hurt about it, and I don't know what's going on. We haven't heard from him. Very emotional moments as the investigation played out on West 34th Street this afternoon. See, the first thing I did was hug the mother. When I saw, it, when I, she, I saw her and she dropped her knees, I just went over and hugged her. The shooting happened near the intersection of West 34th and Graff Streets, not far from Latonia Market. It's unclear at this time what led up to it. My heart goes out for each of the families, that what's going on on both sides, you know, prayers for everyone. And Covington police say their investigation into the shooting continues right now when they ask anyone with any information or maybe you witnessed it to report. A shooter was on the run tonight after somebody shot and killed a woman in Covington. It happened this afternoon on West 34th Street. And WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan shows you who she is and who she leaves behind. Brett, we don't have very much information about what happened, but we do know that one person has died in this shooting. 25-year-old Kira Lane from Covington. Her family was out here on the sidewalk for most of the afternoon and evening in what has been a very emotional scene here. Kira's family tells me she leaves behind two children, an 11-month-old and a 2-year-old. Her family says she was just an all-around good person and an especially caring mother and sister. <laughs> Neighbors said they heard multiple gunshots just after 3 p.m. Covington police say she died on the scene after being shot multiple times. Kira's mother said her daughter had an argument with someone she knew earlier in the day and it ended with gunshots. However, Covington police haven't confirmed that information, but they did say they do not have anyone in custody. The family told us Kira's two children and Kira's sister were upstairs at the time of the shooting, but they did not get injured. A neighbor who was out here said this is unusual. People say it's the hood. It don't feel like the hood to me. I mean, everybody's nice. I've never seen fights or cop cars go to their house. I've never seen them. Mm. You know, so. If you have any information, please say you can call Covington Detectives or Cincinnati Crime Stoppers, 513-352-3040.
in Covington. Andrew Owen. God bless the victim and family and friends. Woman. Police were called to West 34th Street for multiple gunshots this afternoon. Local 12's Paige Barnes has been following the murder investigation. And Paige, you've learned the victim was a mother. This is Kira Lane. She leaves behind two children who are 11 months old and two years old. Her mother Kelly says the kids were upstairs in the house with Lane's sister when the shooting happened. When we arrived on scene, EMS were at the house along with police. Police say they found Lane with numerous gunshot wounds. She later died at the scene and a neighbor tells us he heard at least three gunshots. Detectives have been gathering evidence and interviewing family all evening but have not said if they have any suspects in mind. Now, there are a lot of questions remaining. We don't know what led up to the shooting, who else was in the house, or where the shooting happened inside. Morella? All right, thank you, Paige. If you know anything about this shooting, Covington detectives want to hear from you. Call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. You could get cash for your clues. You or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence or the threat of domestic violence, there is help available. You can contact the National Domestic Violence Hotline at the number you see on your screen. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.